All right, what is going on guys? We're back with another Alliance War video and in today's uh, gameplay, we're gonna be taking on path nine and then switching over to path eight and then we get some main boss action. So path number nine, arguably the hardest path, I'd say four and nine, it depends on like who's placed on the path and the player and the roster and everything, but I'd say path four and path nine are the hardest paths here. Um, these Aegis, so the first note here is Aegis heavy. Basically you need to get, take off, you need to hit the opponent with six heavy attack Hits. So, you know, if you have a, a champion that has a three hit heavy, you know, you only need to land two full heavy attacks. So, with Ghost here, uh, she's actually really good for this because it's a Mordo. You know, Mordo, you know, you can't parry stun him, right? For most champions. But with Ghost, as long as you have that little crit passive, uh, the little precision passive, um, you can't be evaded. And that counts for Mordo's Astral Evade. So, Ghost is just a really good counter. As long as you phase first and then parry, you're good to just launch that heavy, take off two hits. So, within three heavies, boom. Uh, all those Aegis and Shrimple charges are gone, and boom, I can see Ghost just shreds the fight, drop an L2, did a bunch of damage. Uh, we did take recoil damage, I tried to phase it, but yeah, I don't have hood, so I can't phase it when I, when I have hood. Um, can't phase through damage. Uh, but yeah, next up here we have the Aegis Intercept. And there's a Wasp on this one, but there's also a defensive tactic that makes small champions evade. So Wasp not only has her chance to evade, but a small chance. So as you can see with Ghost here, we're taking off those intercept charges because Ghost's uh, phase mechanic actually, if the when the opponent dashes at you, if you retaliate quick enough, it counts as an intercept. Um, so yeah, within the first three hits, man, we took off all the charges and we go for an L2 here and boom, she just dies. Um, because Ghost L2 hit hard, hits hard, of course, and Wasp has such a little health pool that boom. First two fights, man, flawless. They weren't so good. I was really happy with that. Great time with Ghost. And then next up here, we had an Alliance Mate take. Uh, basically, this is the Aegis, another Aegis note, Aegis Heavy, but uh, it's a hidden defender. So he went in with a uh, not very ideal champion. So yeah, he wanted us to come in and clean it up here. I was actually um, getting dinner when... Uh, this fight was going on. I was at Harvey's, which is it's basically like Subway, but for burgers. Um, and yeah, I just ordered my food. I was standing in line. I'm like, there's like three people ahead of me. I'm like, I'm a small lines one man. Uh, I'm gonna take this thing um, because yeah, uh, there's actually the long distance relationship node where you get the uh, weakness or whatever, the weakness debuff. And I thought that was good, man, because I was going to maybe not trigger protection, but we still triggered it there. Uh, but it's actually healing us up through willpower. So it's basically just a free region. Um, I just hit a full yellow bar. I went in. I have more health uh, now than when I went into this fight, and the fight's going great, man. As you can see, we still have over two minutes. Things almost down. Uh, yeah, I've gotten pretty good at fighting things, so yeah, I wasn't really too worried here. Um, Ghost is pretty good for fighting him, so yeah. You can see here he's at uh, five percent, fifteen rock stacks. I'm just gonna beat out one more special attack, go in, and then he should be dead. Boom! Full yellow bar. That fight went good. We we gained health from that fight, so yeah, perfect. And yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm sitting, I'm standing in Harvey's in a lineup waiting uh, for my food, and I'm like, you know what? Let's go check the mini bosses. You know, there's three people ahead of me. Eh, might as well. Uh, I got nothing else to do right now, and I see a Korg. Um, like, all right, let's uh, let's go ahead and take this Korg with Namor. I, I can't press on the node because the name tag is so close. I zoom in a little bit, make sure we got the sound on. And yeah, so this is a linked Korg, so he's got Prove Yourself, Enhanced Fury, and Aggression Fury. So, some fairly difficult nodes on this guy here, but we're going in with a Namor. And, you know, Namor, he's, he's really good for fighting Korgs. If you uh, execute the strategy correctly, he's honestly probably one of the best counters. I'd say it's the best counters are uh, Namor, Omega Red, and Ghost. I'd say those are the three best counters to Korg. Um, for me personally and just in general i'd say because with namor and omega red um and you don't have to worry about the rock stack damage the rock hard points at all with ghost uh if you throw a medium you know you take damage but you can play around it with your phase so if you're skilled enough you can also get completely bypass it but yeah uh so basically we this was a textbook cork fight man we played this cork fight perfectly so as you see here we're getting close to 30 uh, of our stacks of Outrage here. His Rock Shield just reformed. This is the perfect time to drop this special three because it's gonna deal virtually no damage, but it's gonna disable Korg's Rock Shield, and that's what we want. So uh, it's gonna get disabled. Uh, we can well, free to parry him because he can't shut off uh, our any debuffs with the shield down, so he comes in, boom. Uh, throw three hits, 
drop another L3. His shield is shattered right after this. We'll be able to drop an L2. There'll be no damage gap uh, or anything. So if we get a crit, he's totally dead. If we don't get a crit, it'll still do a lot of damage. And then we can probably get off another special two and then that should kill him. Um, so yeah, right here he dashes in. We drop the special two. We stun him, we whiff, but then the final hit, boom, 131,000 damage, dude. Textbook Korg fight, man. Couldn't have played it any better. Uh, except for maybe dexed a little less so we didn't go unblockable and unstoppable at the end but dude we got the, the result we were looking for that that last hit man i had to go back in uh, in my my video files to watch i was like well, how much damage was that 131 when i clipped a little bit sent it in the in the battle group chat I'm like yeah Korg's down uh just a four second clip of that l2 crazy damage so we're helping to section two going to path eight here and so path seven and path eight link each other so someone has to fight something linked here and this is actually a difficult link uh, with the heal block. I wasn't even thinking. You know, normally I have hood, so when I'm phasing, I don't take damage. Um, but yeah, every time we go away from Ember, we take yeah, DJ damage right here. I tried to. I thought. I don't know why. I thought she was unduped. I thought it was an unduped Emma, so I tried to dash back, and I just took that to the face. Right here, she evades from the defensive tactic node, so I just get off my special two. I was like, I, get me out of this fight, man. Um, and yeah, the L2 goes ahead and kills that Emma. That what, the fight went from normal to sketchy real quick i just wanted out of that um yeah we took her down uh and then next up we here we have a blade and i was planning on using ghost for this as well but i'm like you know what ghost is pretty low let's just go ahead and play safe use namor uh there's improved power gain the close encounters note again and tranquility the link is tranquility uh but with the improved power gain that's going to give blade extra power because when you're when you're bleeding fighting blade he gains power i have the suicides on and so blade's going to get that power gain is going to be increased from the node so it's a little bit worried about that uh but actually the tranquility is super clutch the uh the link of tranquility is going to power drain us both and it's actually going to take off uh, any debuffs or buffs. So it's going to take off, take off my suicide uh, debuffs here. So boom, those are gone. And now Blade gets his power drained, which is great because that means I just don't have to bait specials. So I can just stay aggressive. I can keep getting this little regen from the Close Encounters node. And yeah, everything's going good right there, dude. Blade thought he had me. He thought he had me. But we just hit him with a psych, bro. You thought. It's not going to happen. We'll quickly parry that special one. Uh, not happening today, Blade. And yeah, I just keep on staying aggressive. And I know that once he's about to get to a special three, the tranquility will just drain him if he doesn't throw a special. So I'm not really too worried. And we're getting a nice little bit of regen from the node. Hit over 90% health. Go ahead and drop our special three once we hit the Imperius Rex. And I know this is going to kill because of Blade's skill. Uh, we got class advantage. And he's Namor, man. This gives us like a 300% fury. So. Yeah, Blade's dead. That fight was great. Uh, much better than the Emma Frost fight. And then next up we have a Korg uh, fight, but my alliance mate on Path 9 wanted to take it. Practice with his name more a bit. I'm like, alright, that's fine. Because I called dibs on the main Korg boss. I was just like, yo, call me whenever the Korg boss is open. I'll hop on. So I got a call. I woke up. Hopped in here. Like, let's get to work, man. I'm on my way. Pop a little 10% boost. Because uh, I'm pretty sure I did the fight unboosted or very low boost already. Uh, and I had and I had gotten no crits on my special two when I did that fight before, so I was like I was pretty confident going in here to solo this. But uh, so we already fought one Korg this war, and that Korg was a textbook fight, man. We played it virtually perfect. The strategy was good, you know. We lined everything up perfectly. That's exactly what you want to do with Namor versus Korg in Alliance War. Now, in this fight, we make three mistakes. And they're all pretty big mistakes. So, yeah. So the first mistake is, you know, I, I thought I was, I was, I thought everything was going really well, man. I, I already got his shield shattered, and uh, I'm at 28 outrage. I'm like, wow, okay, that was quick. Um, you know, I, I thought I had enough time to get off another special three after this, and then get off my special two. And I thought, you know, I was just gonna kill him. Like I thought this was gonna be uh, such a quick kill. But with his rock stacks on cooldown now. Uh, they're gonna be reforming at a bad time. So I can see it's about halfway to being reformed. Um, and you know, right here, I, so I trigger my Imperial Strike, drop another L3. They haven't reformed yet. So if I can time every, uh, right now I'm thinking, okay, I really gotta get off that special too quick before those rock stacks come back online. Uh, I gotta be quick. So stupid me dashes in and throws the L2, trying to be fast but he has an L1 and I eat that to the face. I didn't think he had that. And now at this point, he, his rock stacks come back online and our L2 does like no damage. That L2 could have done 200K, but instead it does 
2000 because of those rock stacks um, the rock shield came back online so yeah those are the first two really big mistakes but you know at this point you know I still have a minute 20 left he's you know we're halfway through the fight and, and we're halfway there so you know I, at this point like I'm I'm still confident I, I know I can still do this I still have time all right let's just you know let's get this fight back on track um, yeah, gonna keep pushing into these special twos. Gonna go ahead and bait this out, and you know we're at 20 stacks of outrage. You know we're, we're, we're okay. We're getting things back. You know, uh, right here we had to dex a couple times to bait this out, so he got a couple of uh, crowd excitement, but that's okay. Right here we dropped the rock shield, and then I hit him again, and I make him go unblockable. Missed the dex here, and right here this is the third and final mistake here. Um, not quite, but so I hit him on the block again, give him more crowd excitement. He's unblockable and unstoppable. He has too much crowd excitement. So I got, I got a little panicked, dropped the special three there. Um, and so I need to get, need to retrigger my pierce back, drop an L2 and we should be good, right? Uh, but right here I get pushed on the block and I accidentally trigger my Imperious Rex and his Rock Shield comes back online at the worst time. The first hit of the special one, the big hit, does no damage because of the Rock Shield. I have 15 seconds left, he has 13% health, I'm okay, I gotta go really fast. He's throwing combos into my block, man. I'm hitting hard with the Fury still. He throws his L1 for some stupid reason. I go in, 7 seconds, he's at 3%, his Rock Shield's come back online. He throws another combo into my block, 2 seconds, 1% health, 1 second, time out! What? You can see my trident is in him, man. It's literally through him. I... What? One millisecond more for that attack to register, and he'd be dead. But we time out. Dude, I was so annoyed, man. Like, no. Why, dude? Oh my god, man. So th those are the three mistakes. The first mistake was not timing the first rock shield correctly. The second mistake was dashing in to an L1 to the face when we thought he had no power. And the third mistake was accidentally triggering the Imperius Rex. It's the end of the fight. <sighs> man, so that sucked, man. Timed out just barely, dude. But, you know, it didn't matter. We, we had a pretty big lead in the war. Like, it didn't matter if I sold the fight or not. It was just getting the points for the season taking the boss down uh but it just irks me man we like literally we could not have been closer to getting the solo man our our trident was in him we we attacked uh so that sucked but yeah that's gonna be this war i hope you guys enjoyed it uh just <laughs> come on man I, give me that dude they should have given me that last hit but uh yeah it was my mistake definitely i, I did not play that last core right we played the first core great right, but not the second one which mattered the boss but yeah it's gonna do it for this video guys smash like if you enjoy me timing out with one percent left uh subscribe if you like to see more content thanks for watching guys peace out